up the grain on that. You should be surprised. Normally the blacks are crushed and look terrible. Workouts. So this is my main camera, um, but I don't really use it too much because it's uh, bigger. My phone died, so I came in to get this one, but I thought this was a perfect opportunity for a mindful moment. Why in a cold car? <laughs> um, I was really turned on to a guy named Wim Hof by Tim Ferriss. Um, and then I saw a Vice documentary on him, and he is a huge inspiration. Just to see a guy who is so in love with his wife, and how he dealt with his wife's death, which is through meditation and learning how to breathe. Wim Hof is also known as the Iceman, and I am going to use some of his techniques right now. And I'm going to teach you too. The interesting thing about Wim Hof is he likes to bring Eastern methods to Western science. So when he talks about it, he talks about it in terms of chemistry, which is my favorite. So, I mean, when you're breathing in oxygen, you are literally changing the acidity of your system. And as I've taught in other videos, we know that the pH system is the power of hydrogen. Understanding the relationship of acidity, alkalinity, um, and the pH scale with electricity. So what is electricity? It's the flow of electrons. And as we know, electrons are the negative force of an atom. Ooh, I'm liking this, yin and yang. And so when you have an electric current, you are literally having a flow of electricity or a flow of electrons. The pH of a system is the power of hydrogen. And hydrogen is the simplest atom that we know, which is one proton, the opposite of an electron. So if you have a system that is higher in hydrogen, you're going to have a higher acidity because it is it has a positive charge and can and will pull electrons from a neighboring system. So when we breathe in oxygen, oxygen essentially has a negative charge. Oxygen is reactive and that's why we have things like fire because we're literally watching oxygen combust. So when we eat food, it's mostly carbon, right? And you think you poop that all out, right? Mm, not so much. When you are breathing out, you are literally breathing out the byproduct of that broken down food. The oxygen comes in, two oxygens, and then you're breathing out two oxygens with the carbon, carbon dioxide. And so changing your blood's pH through this breathing technique, your alkalinity goes up, which is a different state. It's a different physiological state for the life transport system. Breathing is essential for life, and there are apparent benefits to breathing mindfully. Basically, what you do is you breathe in a full breath, and then you breathe out like a, a half to a three-quarter breath. The reason we do it like this and we don't just try to get as much oxygen at a time is you can saturate the blood too much in one area. So if you're hyperventilating, you are giving a certain section of your blood a lot of oxygen, which we don't want. We want a consistent amount of oxygen. And I like to go to the point where you just get to where you're about to pass out and then you hold your breath. And it's bizarre because when you hold your breath, you don't feel like breathing. 
because your body is saturated with oxygen. This is all I know from him is just this breathing technique. And he explained it on Tim Ferriss's podcast um, about how to deal with snake venom. But I also believe it's the same method for being able to generate a lot of heat. Okay, I'm gonna restart this and then we're gonna go. And we're back. What I was saying is, is when we break down fats and carbohydrates, we're literally producing carbon dioxide and water. When you're watching a flame being lit, a candle, that reaction is carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Put your hand over a candle flame and you'll notice it'll feel a little wet. That's because water is condensating on your hand cool, right? And this is what happens. Dioxide is going in, carbon dioxide is going out, and then the hydrogens that are usually saturated along the sides of fat or on carbohydrates are being reduced to H2O or water. And that's how our body utilizes uh, the energy from nature, is we take in these molecules that have hydrogen and then our body strips all the hydrogen off and creates basically a cathode where electricity can flow to the positive charge. And that, that flow, that current, is energy. And our body has learned how to use that flow or that current to generate kinetic energy to do the things our body does. So it's always great to do that exercise as a reminder of both what we do as a process as humans and how that process is the same in nature. And also a reminder of uh, when we burn fossil fuels because those are literally the fats and carbohydrates from plants, algae, or single cell organisms being um, their reduction, their like compounded energy that they created with sunlight is being released into our atmosphere as carbon dioxide and a little bit of water. Oh, carbon dioxide and a little bit of water. Okay, so that was fun. Good mindful moment. Thank you, Matthew, for the inspiration for mindful moments. Back to the vehicle where he is snoozing because he was up all night making a video for actually a lot of you. I'm actually gonna take you guys in to see this awesome Airbnb we got. <laughs> 